Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Oh, we have a very special treat. It's only brewed once a year, so we're going to enjoy it. Retrogues Brewing Company. They're located in Hershey, Pennsylvania. This is the Nimble Giant Double IPA. It's not for lightweights, and it's not for beginners. It checks in at 9% alcohol by volume, baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's going to be a killer. I know it's brewed with Azaka and Simcoe hops, and I believe there's something else in there that I can't recall right off the top of my head, but it'll come to me. Now, like I said, this is only brewed once a year, and usually I get it after the fact. Now, I've got a very fresh can here today because this is best before October 1st, of 2021 and here we are in the beginning of July so this is very fresh indeed let me get my can opener assistant over here yeah man I messed up my fingers oh I can't I can't hardly grab uh, grab hold of the damn top on this can anymore ah did I say okay I did say the hops uh, uh yeah I did I forgot one though Azaka Mosaic and Simcoe there I got it came, came to me all of a sudden we're going to use this uh, Imperial Pint Glass, which is 20 ounces for the 16-ounce can. We should get most of it in here if we don't pour it straight in. If you pour it straight in, you're going to have a tough time making it, I'll tell you right now. Just pause a little bit. Oh, it's lively carbonated. Beautiful golden color. Look at that golden orange color. Lovely. Oh, there's some serious hops in there along with some grapefruit, baby. <laughs> Yeah, when you get a fresh IPA, you can definitely tell that aroma will knock your socks off. Now, that's a good pour. That's what I like to see. Nice, good pour. Relatively clear IPA. Yeah, oh, so many hazy IPAs on the market these days. I like to see a clear IPA. Beautiful color. Look at that. Lovely color. Made a couple fingers of foam there. A nice, bright white foam. Oh, man. <laughs> There's some pine in there for sure, along with some earthy hops. Oh, that grapefruit's in there too. Hey, before I drink this beer, I want to thank the brewers over there at Trobes Brewery in Pennsylvania for all the hard work they do brewing this beer. I'll bet they have a few after work, no doubt about it. Cheers to them. Cheers to you too at home. I did say this was 9%, right? Because it's very smooth and easy drinking. <laughs> yeah, this. Uh, now, you know, like I said, this only comes out once a year. So by this time next year, I will have forgotten how good this beer is. But right now, it's quite lovely. Mm, let's put that down and talk about the beer. The first thing you get is that grapefruit right up front in your face. And then you get some earthy hops. And then it finishes with that dry, bitter, pine finish. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, it's just laying on the back of my tongue, baby. This is a fine beer. If you've never had this beer, you should absolutely try it. Man, yeah. Now, see, you have to like IPAs, though. If you don't like that dry, bitter finish on your IPA, you probably won't like this beer. This is pretty, uh, this is pretty intense. Now, the alcohol... I don't pick up at all. I, I don't get that alcohol. Now, later on tonight, I might pick it up. <laughs> no doubt. This has medium carbonation. It has nice flowing carbonation there from the bottom. But it is definitely a full-bodied mouthfeel. No doubt about it. This beer would be able to pair with a variety of foods and you'd still be able to taste that pine in there and those earthy hops and that grapefruit of course yeah, it's not going to get lost in the sauce for sure 
but I would like to drink this beer all by itself. I don't want to put any food in there and muddy the flavors and aromas. This is a fabulous beer. Oh, man. It's a sipping beer, though. you got to take your time with this beer. Remember, it's 9%. Your body knows it's 9%. You may not, but your body does. And I always say that, especially if you're out drinking and driving. Yeah, I'm just having a little fun. But, yeah, drinking and driving, you got to be very careful. Uh, drink some water. Get some food. Take your time. I don't, I don't see anything inherently wrong with drinking and driving. We all know our limitations. Just like Clint Eastwood said, got to know your limitations, baby. Yeah, you can't sit there and drink five or six beers in one hour and then drive. That's not going to work out so well. Five or six beers over the course of the evening, if you're there four or five hours, different story. All right, my friends, life is short. Be happy. Hey, drink whatever you like, but this is a great beer right here from Troves. Cheers to that. Okay, everyone, as promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry, I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated. And if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio. They specialize in Ohio beers. Uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it, less, it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. 
that's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um. This is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's cheap-ass beer reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh to have those made, so I would sell them at the same price now. I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back so but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested but uh like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.